Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I show you how to retouch the sport athlete photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, and I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw file of this episode and all the past episodes. And click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I show you how to retouch this photo of my dog, Caramel. It was taken during the day and I went for a very pastel type of effect. That's the final result. Now, this week, I'm going to show you how to take this photo of this sport athlete, retouch it entirely in Lightroom, and then I'm going to turn it over to my friend Calvin Pimont, who is going to show you in another episode how to make this magazine cover. The guy is an amazing designer. Just before we start the tutorial, I just want to announce that I have a new course coming out. It's called Black and White Yesterday and Today. I'm going to show you, inspired by Ansel Adams, how he used to work, the type of tools he used to use to make his beautiful fine art photography, and how we can do that in Lightroom using today's tool brushes, neutral density filter. It's a lot easier than what Ansel Adams used to do, and I will show you a full presentation at the end of this course. But for now, let me show you how I retouch this sport athlete photo. All right, mesdames et messieurs, so welcome to uh, one of my first collaborative episodes with my buddy, Calvin Piment. Uh, Calvin is in LA, I'm in Paris, and uh, a couple of days ago, he shot this athlete, Jocelyn, a French athlete. Uh, he shot this, and I'm going to show you how I retouch it from this to something like this. And then I'm going to turn it over to Calvin, and you have to go on YouTube, and he will show you then how to make a magazine cover because Calvin is a is a designer an amazing designer and I love this type of portrait because they are very like desaturated very sort of grungy you know it's kind of like a it's famous these days so if you want to you know work for fitness magazines or you know take your portrait to the next level you might learn a couple of things so first let's talk about how Calvin shot the athlete if I press I on the photo on the roll file which by the way we are giving for free uh, you will be able to get the raw file so you can go through all the retouching we've done. And the thing which is really cool is that I'm going to do, only going to do the retouching in Lightroom and Lightroom only. So um, this was shot using G. Westcott uh, Spider Light, small Spider Light, one on each side. He shot this, he was at 100 of a second at f4, ISO 100. I believe he was shooting uh, handheld without a tripod. Now, the photo is pretty sharp. You know, I think he did a good job on the focus. It's pretty sharp. It gets a bit, you know, it's the, the F4 is not so big. So they have a bit of a uh, depth of feel here, but it's kind of cool. I mean, honestly, he did a good job. And uh, uh, Kelvin is, is a beginner photographer, but he's an amazing designer. Anyway, so let me show you how I uh, retouch this photo. Um, so let's go over to the develop module. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to open the shadows, uh, but not completely. Now, when you do portrait shooting, it's good not to open completely shadows because it's going to make a, it's not going to make good skin. So like I, I think the first try that Kelvin showed me was around plus 76, 77. OK, then I'm going to bring down the highlights, but not the whole way also. I never do that on portraits, but like somewhere around 76 that's pretty pretty cool okay uh next white and black point now uh the photo is very dark so we're going to do a lot of white so i'm going i'm going to do the whites um i noted like 58 or something so i'm going to go and get a white point really far away like 58 if i hold on the alt key you see i've not even reached uh, a white point yet but I've brightened up the photo a lot more and you know there is a lot of darkness because this is what you see here a lot of darkness due to the background and uh, and the black point um, is going to be like minus 13 or something like this okay but you see now the skin is way too yellow so the first thing we're going to do is do something about the white balance white balance is very very key even more than for landscape when you do portrait retouching and it's very yellow so um I'm going to add a lot of blue. I'm going to run, go around like four, three, uh, four, three, something like this, four, three, yeah, around th here. So already we have sort of a desaturated look, but it's still a bit too much yellow. Uh, and so I'm going to add some green, which I never do usually, but I think it works well. I'm just going to do slightly like minus 13 or 14 on the tint because we want to go for, you know, sort of a, a grungy look. Now to get the grungy look, we're going to have to boost the clarity. 
around like 50 or something. Yeah, 53. That's pretty cool. And then it is still too saturated. So to get, give a good grungy look, I'm going to take the saturation down around minus 36. All right. Okay, so now we got a really desaturated look, which was what we were going for. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to crop the photo so that we don't have so much, uh, so we don't have the G Westcott things. So I'm going to crop it just right here and right here. Okay, and then uh, I want to be more on him, like more like a magazine cover. So something like this. All right. Um, now the thing is the magazine cover is going to be black you see it's going to come out from the from the darkness so for this we need to go into the graded filter i'm going to put the exposure really low like 156 155 something like this and then i'm going to make a gradient like this a very small one because you will understand why in a second i'm going to make another one like this i really want to close up the photo so you know with graded filter you can just move them afterwards like this you can just you know, first make them and then move them afterwards to make them more for gradient. And I want him yeah, to come out from the dark. So a lot of uh, neutral density filter here going on. But I don't want it to be on the skin. I just want it coming out from the darkness. And here also from the, the bottom here, something like this. Okay, so he really stands out. Now, why am I saying coming out from the darkness? Now, if I press F on the... Uh, on Lightroom, it goes full screen and you can see, you know, that when you put black around him, he's really coming out, you know, pretty cool stuff, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. So now the only thing I'm going to retouch more is I'm going to go onto his eyes here and I'm going to make them pop with a radial filter. So I'm going to take the radial filter, make one on, on his eyes here. Okay. Make it right in the center here. And then I'm going to boost the exposure but I'm gonna invert the mask so it only boosts the exposure within the eyes. Now on the eyes, you gotta be very careful to, to go very gentle because otherwise it's gonna look like an alien. Okay, but we want a, you know, a good grungy look, so 0.30 could be cool. Okay, then I'm just gonna duplicate this and put it over on the other eyes. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate one more time because I wanna, and I wanna make a much bigger uh, circle because I wanna increase even more, okay? So check it out. If you go here before, after, you know, we just made the eyes pop a little more. Now, one thing which is good to do, you press the space bar, click on the photo to go back and do the before and after on a wide shot. So you can see if you went too much on the eyes. It's kind of all right. I mean, we're going for like a really grungy look and I think it works pretty well. Uh, last but not least, we need to take care of the noise. So I'm going to zoom in and you can see be uh, because it was pretty on a you see what happened is kelvin shot for the highlights so there's there was nothing burning in the photo to start with you know uh because we, if you burn anything on the highlights when you, you you use this type of lighting especially the rim lighting here if you do that what happens is that uh, uh you're gonna burn the skin it's not gonna be so it's better to expose for the highlights and deal with the noise after which is exactly what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna on about uh let's see not on his skin here but here Basically, I'm zooming at 100% and I'm going to do a noise reduction. I think I'm going to go around like 30. There's a, quite a bit of noise here. I'm going to go around 30. That's pretty cool. And so my sharpening, you know my rule, I'm taking 100 and I'm going to deduct 30. So, boom. Here we go. Uh, and it's back on. Now, the thing is, I don't want to sharpen uh, the background. So I'm going to press the Alt key and use the masking tool. Uh, and I'm going to go to the right until the entire uh, bl uh, black background is selected because I don't want to sharpen anything in the dark. This way we sharpened the photo a little bit and uh, we took care of the noise. Uh, last but not least, I think I'm going to I'm going to remove chromatic aberration in case there is any and on about profile correction. And, and voila, that's the only retouching that I did. Now, uh, not only I'm going to give you the raw file, but I'm going to create a preset right now so that you can just uh, see it for yourself. I'm gonna go to presets here, and uh, I'm gonna call this uh, desaturated grungy look, all right? Now I'm gonna put this in the group called search preset, and I'm not gonna save, I'm not gonna save the, um, uh, what I'm not gonna save, the uh, blah, 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 what, 
the lens correction yeah the, the profile i'm not going to sell the not going to sell the um, save the profile correction and uh, the rest i think i am going to save so i'm going to create that profile okay this way uh if i were to reset this photo and uh and click the desaturated grungy look i would get it right away except that i, I would need to recrop again that's the only thing but uh, okay you get the point because i don't want that cropping is just for that photo. So I'm gonna give you the raw file and I'm gonna give you that preset so that you can try it on some other photos and you can try it on this photo if you want. Okay, now to go back to where I was, I can just go back to the history and go back on the before the reset settings so we have the photo as uh, uh, like we had before. Okay, now how do we go from this to this book cover? Well, you have to jump over to YouTube. Well, I'm gonna, if you're watching this on YouTube, you will probably see a link which is gonna appear, but if, if you're watching this on an iPhone, uh, on, uh, on iTunes, uh, you have to go to YouTube and you have to search for Kelvin Designs, Kelvin Designs, and you will see that his episode three is how to design a magazine cover. It's a 53 minutes, he's gonna give you all the tricks. This guy has, has designed thousands, hundreds of magazine covers for very big names, and he's gonna give you uh, this magazine cover. So Kelvin Designs, subscribe to his YouTube channel, please, because he's making amazing tutorials and we really work together. So we do this sort of collaborative tutorials and I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, hope you like this and uh, I will see you in another episode, back to me. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this black and white yesterday and today course. The idea of this course is to show you some of the work of Ansel Adams and show you how he used to work back in the old days with something called the zone system. It's a really cool technique that he used to use uh, to make amazing fine art black and white. I'm also going to show you how they used to do the dodge and burn and where dodge and burn came from and how we can transpose this in today's tool using Lightroom 5. We're going to take this photo from the Alps and retouch it like Ansel Adams to get this final result. And then we're going to go to Venice, Italy and we're going to go from this to that. It's a really cool course and I hope you're going to enjoy it. All right, guys, I hope you like this episode and you will check out this sport athlete tutorial and you will check out my black and white course. I'll see you in another episode. Goodbye.